The reason why I decided to work as a nurse and not as a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner has covered many different areas. I started going to Walden University in 2017 and uh, at the end of 2017 and I graduated in January of 2020. During that time, a lot of nurses has been going to doing their masters, leaving the bedside, and this was culminated by the pandemic that took place where a lot of nurses decided to leave the bedside. If that is a star TV. He created a havoc in many different hospitals. And during those period, nurses wasn't getting enough money to take home. So I continued my program. I was lucky enough to get a practicing psychiatrist to work with and at the end when COVID just started. So it went well for me. My, my program was sailing and then I graduated as a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. And this is my certificate from if anybody can see from ANCC where I graduated as a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. And I decided that I wasn't going to work for a while because during that time it was the pandemic and people were just getting crazy. They didn't know what was happening and I just stayed home for a while and everything just went berserk for the whole world. You know what I'm talking about. So I decided to stay home for a while and did what I really truly like was to become a YouTuber. <laughs> I started making videos and doing my own thing during that time I had quite a few dollars saved. So I had a cushion to my, my pushing, you know, started using up all my funds, using up all my funds, just relaxing because I was scared. I didn't want to go out there because friends was dropping out. This one was leaving. That one was leaving. That one was leaving. People was going into traveling. People was taking advantage of, of getting more pay. And you know, they were just leaving left, right and center. So this created a hole at the bedside. And during my time, I decided, you know, cash was running low for me and I decided that I am going to have to go back to work. Bills were piling up, you know, the smile wasn't there anymore. But I said, I finished up school, you know, I have to go back now to get some cushion in the cushion. I decided to apply for a job as a nurse practitioner and to my dismay, the pay was crazy. I mean, there was, it was no pay with a lot of work and expectations. So I said, no, I am not going to do this. I cannot come out with a master's and end up working less than what I work as a nurse at the bedside. So I decided to go back into the hospital to see what was going on. So I got a job to work in the hospital and to my dismay, all the nurse practitioners that I knew were back at the bedside working. They were traveling. They were taking up assignments and just traveling they were just becoming travel nurses all over the place so i said wow i was a little bit taken aback by it because i said why would they want to leave their profession and come back to the bedside and i had the pleasure of talking to one of the nurses one night and she was saying yes it's all good to become a nurse practitioner and have the name as a nurse practitioner but no money <laughs> i was like what do you mean by no money? Nurses get don't get much pay, she said. Then she started to show me the ropes of how nurses can really make money. Because I was blind to the fact. I go to work 7 in the morning, come home 7 in the evening. I didn't care to work weekends. My pay was a mess. My bills were getting paid, but my excessive bill wasn't getting covered. So I still had a crunch. So she showed me the ropes and letting me know all the differences that you can earn in becoming a, 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 a bedside nurse and you can check out the video here because I did it so that's one of the reasons why I did this video so you can check this video out for reasons why uh, just check out this video right, right here just check it out <laughs> so I decided that I'm gonna take up her offer and do what she said you know because I was trying to still work as a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner but every time I try to work the pay was not saying anything. I had to have a, a practicing psychiatrist to work under. 
most of these practicing psychiatrists want to be paid and I'm already getting no money. So what am I going to pay you from? You know? So I said, no, I'm not going to do this. It's hard enough. I graduated with a FT financial head debt. So I know that I had to do the best thing for me. And as a result, it's kind of heart wrenching. And you know, that I have to revert back to becoming a registered nurse instead of a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner. But I think it is all within my favor because this time all the nurses are leaving the bedside, having their master's degree, and they're moving away so fast to the point where there is no nurse. As a result of there's no nurse, guess what happened? Cha-ching! Nurses are are paid more to stay at the bedside. They're given a lot of incentives. They're given a lot of bonuses. They're given a lot of pay increases. And they're given more leeway to, because there's no nurses. At my emergency department, I can tell you, nurses are leaving left, right, and center, going into traveling, because traveling pays even more. I am not going to go as a traveler, because I am pretty good where I'm at right now. But a lot of younger nurses who have just came into the profession see traveling as a lucrative deal for them. So all they have to do is just work one year within that field and they can go as a traveler. So they're making use of it. And many of them also is doing internal traveling. So they're getting three times the amount of pay that they started on. So nurses are used to cover areas that is needed when they are internal travel. And when they are traveling from all over the, the zone, they are paid lucrative sum of money and they're doing better than having their masters. You have a lot of the nurses right now, they're ashamed to say it, but some of them will open up and tell you, I'm a mental health nurse practitioner. I am a nurse practitioner. I am I work in this area, I work in this area, but there was no money and I decided to go traveling and this is what is happening to me. Yes, I'm reaping the coin. So, you know, guys, don't be quick to judge. And you have to look and see the pros and the cons towards this. I have to start paying back. When I leave school, I have over $106,000 in financial aid. I am not going to work as a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner when I'm not getting the pay. When my working as a nurse at the bedside, I get more money. Look at it. Isn't that ridiculous? So, guys... A lot of nurses is going into doing their masters now and kudos to them. There are nurses that is working with me right now, about three, four nurses on my unit on the morning shift and on the night shift. They're working hard, struggling. I'm looking at them and I'm laughing. <laughs> They're going through what I have been through. You know what I mean? Because the course was so hard and I got so sick. If you can look into my previous videos, guys, how I looked, I was doctor could not tell my complaint the how sick i was because the, the deadline assignments then i had to do my practical in areas uh, you know me too and i had to meet expectations for the doctor to sign off on my papers i have to be working as a staff and this work was so much the things that you have to put up with some of these mental health patients and you know i love the area that i work in i love my job dearly but I'm not making no money, you know what I mean? And come to think of it, look what is happening now. If I can't pay my bills, if I can't pay my rent, who is going to pay it for me? If I can't pay my light bill, who is going to pay it for me? If I can't make my car note, who is going to pay it for me? Some people will say, oh, you didn't love what you do. That's what, no, I'm looking on what is there for me to do in order to make my life much easier and also to be able to pay my bills so that I can have a roof over my head. Yes, I have people depending on me in Jamaica. I have people depending on me here. And I'm also depending on myself to do what is best for me. So don't be quick to judge. A lot of nurses on my unit, they're like, why are you still working as a nurse and not as a psychiatric nurse practicing? And I said, you know what? The pain is not yours. It's for you to know. The pain is not yours until you decided to work as a psychiatric mental nurse practitioner and you're going to see the pain that you're going to get from having no money. Let me put a disclaimer out there. I am not saying all nurse practitioners are not making any money. That's no way close to the truth. Those nurse practitioners are experienced.
parents and when they came out of school they were working at a time when nurse practitioners were making more money than nurses no they have mastered the area that they're in so they're more marketable so they're able to go places and demand them what they want i don't have that experience so they're going to pay me as a new grad and paying me as a new grad is paying me nothing and i have big school fees to pay have rent to pay have all my expenses so it is not worth it so i decided to call the board of nursing and to go inactive on my license and continue to work as a bedside nurse now what the board of nursing instructed me is that i can only go inactive for two years and after the two years i can still practice as a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner but i would have to do a refresher course i don't know what that refresher course entails and i still have a long way to go so I am just going to hang on in there and do what I have to do because right now I'm at a sweet spot in my life. I'm getting older and I have bills to pay. So I just have to do what I have to do. So guys, if you like my video, don't be afraid to like, share, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell so that you can be notified of more videos. And guys, just love what you do. Do what you do best and just know that life is what it is. And I can tell you, a lot of nurses are in my situation and for those who can hear it and see it they will understand but your pain is your pain and you're not gonna feel my pain until my pain becomes your pain all right so walk good all right be careful <laughs>